Hi everyone, it's Artist from Man Carpentry uh, back again. So in this video today we're gonna uh, pitch the roof. It's a small roof. Uh, I have started slightly what I've done. I've put the ridge in, um, so I notched it sort of halfway um, onto the old one. So what I got to do now um, is undo the screws push it back in um, reason being I just got a height now so what I've what you need to do you need to find the middle uh, center of your um, of your plate what I've done in short I've marked out the center so with the center you need to mark out where the uh, thickness of your um, ridge in my case it's gonna be six by two so that's 22 and a half millimeters on the side. So I've clamped or screw, screwed timber up upwards level. And then I've uh, just moved up that ridge beam, uh, providing that my floor is level, which it is. I measured from uh, underside of the floor, from the floor here up to the underside of the ridge there. I've done the same on a timber. So I put mark. And I clamped it just to check that to make sure it is level, uh, which it is. So next job for us is to uh, I need to unscrew that end because when I um, originally put it on, I just loosely screwed that end. But now I can undo it and push it that way. But what I will do now, I will put an upright as it's level, I'll put upright, fix it to the stud wall, to the plate. So I can slide my uh, ridge all the way back where it should be. And after that, we're going to be looking at cutting rafters. Well, this um, job is fairly simple because you've got something to measure from. You've got old rafters, uh, which you can take your measurements off, etc. When you do a new roof, um, the golden rule really is uh, you got, you're going to have two cuts. One is your ridge cut where rafter goes against the ridge and goes down and then you got plate cut so whatever you are cutting you don't want to be cutting uh, more than three quarters out of the timber width so if you're if you got four by two you don't want to be cutting more than uh, three quarters out of four by two for your seed cut also say if your um, if you know one of the measurements say pitch uh, or you don't know the pitch measurement but you know um, you know in my case I don't know the pitch measurement but I've got rafters to to copy from I will take this I'll take this on a bevel with the bevel uh, get this uh, ang angle on a chop saw or you know anything you like or angle finder and then the other side will be difference to 90 degrees so that is the simplest way because unless you got all the angle finders everything else so as long as you know one cut the other one will be difference of 90 degrees so take off whatever say x take off x and you'll get your bottom cut um, bear in mind that you don't want to be too far uh, into the timber whatever size you're using so uh, this is quite shallow pitch so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna reinforce it with uh, small joist, joist hangers to make sure it's solid and um, we're also gonna be counter battening because we are insulating it basically this is a this little job is uh, converting this into the sort of insulated area uh, so we're gonna strip all the roof back the old roof back and uh, yeah we're gonna insulate it, counter batten it for airflow same we're gonna do insulation on the walls uh, windows etc so yeah it's quite a nice little job and um, I hope you enjoy the uh, job with pitching I'll go through when we actually do it which will be uh, 
shortly and I'll catch up with you in a bit. So, as uh, you mentioned before, we got our pitch. Uh, then, technically speaking, um, the angle going back that way will be uh, your pitch less, uh, 90 degrees less your pitch. And uh, obviously it's not gonna be all perfect, so that will give you roughly what you need to be at. But if the plate, you know, is slightly twisted, obviously it will change, so you're gonna have to alter. So what I would suggest you to do cut one rafter um, where you measure from I will just show you in a second, where you measure from tip of the where your rafter will sit so in my case uh, because our timber is lower I'm allowing my uh, rafter to sell over five mil so that's what I'm trying to achieve and then once you've done that then you take measurement from this point and that will represent your seat cut so you measure from here to the to the uh, point you want it to be so if you go to the top of the ridge plus five mil and even if it's a longer a little bit then all you got to do is trim it shorter it's better be longer than shorter remember so unfortunately because i've gone off the walls of the existing walls of this uh, shed and they're not square uh, oh sorry not parallel slightly and what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to individually cut each well measure each length uh, and cut it in that way um, usually if it's a new build or you're doing a new roof you can set your plates parallel and then you can you know once you get two rafters which fit then you can copy and cut all of them and then just later on fit them uh, but yeah so remember the simplest way if you've got an old roof take your bevel like so put it against the well i could put it against the roof go against the ridge that will give your mitre or angle for your top for your top cut and then whatever that comes out if you don't have angle finder or digital you know angle finder you can uh, use chop saw cut it um, and it will give you uh, obviously the angle and then take the whatever angle you got take that off from 90 degrees and that should be this cut here the c cut and then from the c cut square down you got you got your return and this as you can see i've done i've done about 30 mil so it's one third um one third of the timber one quarter one third something like that. i've done one third so uh, of the timber um, and yeah that is basically it um, so what i will do now i will have to obviously do it um individually unfortunately which is a bit of pain so i would rather have a you know parallel walls and um and i could cut all the same but in this case I can't so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing and yeah I'll catch up you in a bit so alternatively you could buy a gadget like this which I have bought so uh, it's quite simple really you put your your arrow it gives you your pitch and then you got your C cut basically all you got to do is square it back so um, that's the alternative if you don't want to use bevels and angle finders that would make things easier and if you do a lot of roofs it might be worth having that tool like it's just you know quicker and you know speed is uh, you know equivalently important as your quality of work so 
that will make things easier for you. So this is what I can use today. I have bought one for myself, so I got it. So I don't have to mess around too much, so. But yeah, you got, you know, both options. You can use bevels, angle finders, uh, etc. And uh, yeah, I still use bevel to get it. Then I just put it off it to that, and that gives me my pitch. And yeah, so that's one of the ways you can do it. Uh, so I will crack on cutting all the other timbers and I'll see you shortly.